What's up guys, welcome to the greatest vlog ever made and today we're super excited because I've got something really special for you guys. I wanted to make a film about travel and I wanted to inspire you to get out and to travel in 2021 and I thought you know what it's so easy for me to say come to Madeira, come to Madeira, Madeira is amazing, everything's amazing here but in actual fact you know you still got to go through the airports, you still got to be in the airplane and I thought hey what's the best way for me to inspire you to travel than for me to travel myself so the three of us are going on a little bit of an adventure stay tuned this one's gonna be awesome ah, super excited about this trip Today, we're heading out to another beautiful archipelago in the middle of the Atlantic that is also Portuguese. For the first time in my life, I'm going to the Azores. Roberto. Tchau, Jack. Obrigado. Muito obrigado. See you when I get back. This is one of the best taxi professionals in Madeira. The links are in, this, in the description. Cheers, Roberto. Obrigado. So at the moment inside the airport everything is kind of normal you know the only difference really is the mask the communication has been fantastic between all the tests and documentation and stuff absolutely great and yeah we're waiting for the plane everything's good that's our plane over there I don't think I've ever been in a plane so small but it's an adventure right So we've landed and we're now in São Miguel and we're actually on a connection so to speak. So this isn't our final destination. We're actually heading out tomorrow morning to Pico Island, right? There's nine different islands in the whole Azoran archipelago and I'm no expert by far any expert on anything Azores except that I know that I want to go to Pico. So that'll be coming up soon. But I'm going to try and entertain you guys a little bit and to inform you a little bit about what's going on in the Azores. Uh, I mean, this is just beautiful and coming in was beautiful. And uh, we've checked in at our hotel, Herdad dos Ananas. Wait, that sounded wrong. Herdad do Ananas. Know your Portuguese, dude. Which is basically an old pineapple farm and today we're gonna have the pleasure of having a guided tour around the pineapple farm and they're gonna show us how they grow their pineapples let's go and check it out from zero to ten how hungry are you uh 9.5 9.5 no 8.5 
Fabio. Um, I work here on the, the, the property um, for around nine months now. Here at Erdad Wenenash try to be the more, more sustainable as possible. And this right here is a good example of that. Uh, this is a, um, a water tank. Most of the water in this tank comes from rainwater and we use it to irrigate everything that we produce here on the, on the, on the property. How long has this place uh, been in, in existence? For around three years now. Um, the guest house. The plantation itself is very old. Uh, it's in the third generation of, of, uh, of the same family. All our greenhouses are made of glass and this applies to all um, pineapple produ producers here on the island. They all use the same type of greenhouse and the same methods to produce pineapples. Pineapple plantations here on the island started around 200 years ago as a substitute for orange plantations. Around 200 years ago, um, we had a plague that destroyed basically all orange plantations. And the farmers back then turned to, to the pineapples. In here, for example, we have something else that we produce here on the farm. This is strawberries. Everything is done naturally? Done that. No, no kind of chemicals, fertilizers, nothing. Do they grow very big? Yeah, sometimes, it depends on the plant. <laughs> Some produce smaller ones, others a little bit bigger. This is probably the most important greenhouse in the entire production. It's here where the pineapple starts its life. Uh, for example, this is a pineapple root. And this is pineapple spurs. It's what you see on the, on the ground. The, the root never leaves this greenhouse. What leaves the greenhouse are the plants. Oh, wow. We just pull them out of the, 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 the root and we put it in a, in, a, in a glass greenhouse and there it will stay its entire life. Um, around two years. To grow a pineapple. To grow a pineapple. And one plant uh, will only grow one pineapple. After that, we have to kill the plant. You can as feel much heat. heat and humidity. Feels like I'm in a western movie or something, you know, like <laughs> <the> wild west. <laughs> we also produce a lot of other things, like for example, bananas. We have avocado trees. Um, we have orange, uh, um, we produce uh, uh, lemons, uh, we you produce, produce lemons. Little. Lemons are the future, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do you say that? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just a stupid joke, I'll show you later. In here, it's probably the most uh, uh, boring stage of the, the pineapple plant. Here the plant should be around wow. four to six months. And in here, it starts special techniques that we use that will uh, differ differentiate the, the pineapples that are produced here on the source from all uh, other pineapples in the world. One of those methods is the ground. The ground is made especially out of chip wood, dirt, and uh, 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 the previous generation of the pineapple plant. All labor inside the greenhouse uh, is done by hand. We don't use any type of, of uh, uh, um, machinery, nothing like that. A uh, way to control temperature again, like I said, are the windows on top of each greenhouse uh, and nothing else. We don't use a, a, any kind of electronic uh, systems or anything to measure the temperature that is uh, electronic. Does it mean, do, do these windows then, do they slide open? Uh, they open, they open up. Uh, if they you open go, like out? If you go a little, a little further, you'll see a window. For example, right here, the plant is very small. It requires a lot of heat and a lot of humidity. That's why the windows are closed. The, the bigger the plant, the older the plant is, the less heat it will require. This old technique of, uh, of doing everything the old way, is that to like give more love to the pineapple kind of thing? or? Yeah, you could say so, you could say so. In here, the pineapples are around a year old. And if you smell, it smells like burned. Uh, yeah. like, so, like something burned inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On this stage, we set little fires inside the, the, the greenhouse. We put some cans, metal cans inside. We put a lot of wood inside and we set it on fire. We close windows and the door and we leave it like that for a few days. And by doing that, we are stressing the plant. The pineapple plant uh, pollinizes itself, but it needs a little help. It needs to be stressed to start pollinizing itself. We trigger a, a biological response on, a, on the plant. The plant thinks that is in, a, in the wildfire and to protect itself in the next generation, all the plants will start to bear flower. That technique, it's only used here in the source, nowhere else. And like I said in the beginning, all producers 
use the same techniques, including this one. In here, you can see the next stage. Uh, almost every plant has a fruit. Yeah. The fruit is still very small. Um, most of them have what we call the pineapple flower. In a, in a few months, they will be fully developed pineapple. The, 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 the pineapple, uh, this might be a super stupid question, but the pineapple is basically the seed of the plant? Yes, yes. Right. it is the seed. So it is the seed. It would naturally it would fall off and exactly, and it would start to develop uh, roots uh, um, and would produce another plant. Let's check the last stage. So you'll see, like for example, this one right here. Uh, it's just a few days away from being harvested. It's got to go yellow, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. The the more yellow, the better. All our pineapples are for consumption here on the on the property. But for example, if we were uh, pineapple sellers. And if we would want to export the pineapple, for example, for the mainland, we would have to, to harvest the pineapple a little bit green so that it lasts the trip to the mainland. For example, in the supermarket, you will see a lot of different types of pineapple. Most of them will have a, a, a big, tall crown. Pineapple produced here on the island always, have a small, always has a small crown. Um, it is small because we cut the crown off when the fruit starts to, to, to grow. Um, why do we cut it off? Basically, the plant produces energy. The pineapple will pull that energy to grow and the crown itself will pull all the energy from the pineapple to grow. Energy is sugars. What will happen? In most pineapples, they will be sweet only on the top part. On the Azorian pineapples, because we cut the crown, all the pineapple will be sweet. Is this uh, a trade secret? You could say so. You could say so. So, so now we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody like, knows. You know, like, am I gonna ruin the pineapples in the Azores? <laughs> don't, don't put that pressure on me, man. <laughs> this is a small greenhouse. It allows us to treat each pineapple with love and care. You can go to this pineapple, cut the ground, the, the, the crown, that one, the same thing. That's why uh, uh, the pineapples here on the island are so famous. And uh, some people actually say they are some of the best in the world. Well, I've never been more excited to try pineapple. Thank you for your presence. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this one will be your salad of the Thank you. Thank you. So what have we been missing? Is it the excitement of holding a boarding pass in our hands? The people we meet and the connections we make? Is it the foreign menu and the surprise of new smells and new flavors? The nature, the mountains, the forest, the sunrises, the trails, the hiking, the sights? Missing isn't the exploration of the outer world, but rather the exploration of ourselves. There's never been a better destination than the Portuguese islands, and there's never been a better time than now. Book your flight, you won't regret it.